let us discuss about types of friction depending upon the nature of surfaces and the magnitude of force applied on an object the force of friction is of three types first is static friction the maximum frictional force present between any two objects when one object just tends to move or slip over the surface of the other object is called static friction static friction is a kind of starting friction because an object just tends to start moving it does not actually move static friction does not exist by itself when there is no applied force there is no static friction it comes into play only when an applied force exists on an object examples an example of static friction is the force that prevents a car wheel from slipping as it rolls on the ground even though the wheel is in motion the patch of the tire is in contact with the ground is stationary relative to the ground a paper book mark in a book stays in a place due to static friction second is limiting friction limiting friction is the maximum value of opposing force that comes into play when a body just starts moving over the surface of another for example if you move a box from one place to another the force is required to overcome friction at the instant the box starts moving from rest is the measure of limiting friction the static friction at this stage is maximum third is kinetic friction kinetic friction is the opposing force that comes into play when one object is actually moving over the surface of another object anything rubs slides or slips has some kinetic friction any surface that moves against another surface has kinetic friction types of kinetic friction there are basically two types of kinetic friction first is sliding friction sliding friction is the opposing force that comes into play when one object is actually sliding over the surface of another object for example when a block of wood is moved on a flat surface it slides In this case the opposing force is called sliding friction. Second is rolling friction. Rolling friction is the opposing force that comes into play when one object is actually rolling over the surface of another object. For example, when a wheel or a log of wood rolls over a flat surface the opposing force is called rolling friction let us perform an activity to show that rolling friction is less than the sliding friction in magnitude for this activity take a wooden block attach a hook of the spring balance to it and gently pull the spring balance in the horizontal direction Note the reading of spring balance. Now repeat the same by placing 3 to 4 pencils parallel to one another under the wooden block acting as rollers. Note the reading of spring balance again. It shows less force. As we know that rolling friction is less than the sliding friction. Whenever possible sliding friction is replaced by rolling friction this is achieved by using wheels ball bearings 
roller bearings etc these wheels have very small rolling friction and help in fast motion of the skater these days suitcase and bags are also provided with small wheels these wheels have very small rolling friction that is the reason it is convenient to pull suitcase and bags fitted with rollers ball bearings are spherical metal balls used in many mechanical structures which have moving parts like fans cycles washing machines etc they reduce friction as sliding friction is transformed into rolling friction that's all for today thank you